wish mobile by, eh? Mm -hmm. I love it. <laughs> well, I do have to say, it was kind of funny with that light show from all the spotlights chasing those lions around last night. <laughs> Welcome to Zambia. We've come to South Luangwa National Park to check off a longtime bucket list item, the African Safari. After more than 30 hours of flights and layovers, we've landed in the village of Mfui, the gateway to South Luangwa National Park. Despite the jet lag, we're so excited to finally get in the Land Rover and head out on our first afternoon game drive. And like the first time you land anywhere, your first day on safari is just sensory overload in the best way possible. Our guides at South Luangla were all born and raised in Mfui, the village just outside the park. Such intimate local knowledge made for a safari experience that was beyond incredible. Eye. So that's a male. Well, the females have got the yellow eye around. Yeah, that's an that's an impala. Yeah. Well, if they can perch on the tree with a lot of branches, it's very difficult for them to take off. Because they blow they can, yeah. Just, yeah, they yeah. can't just open their wings. Exactly. And we go. Tony, we go. That's so it's this. Looking for food. Mm -hmm. You look for food? Yeah, for the roots and chubas. It's pretty busy. As the sun sets on our first afternoon on safari, we finally get the call on the radio we've been waiting for. A pride of lions has just been spotted near Mfui Lodge. Needless to say, our first night drive did not disappoint. Oh! Wow. While the lions were the highlight of the evening, we still have so much more to see before the night is done.
One of the animals we really wanted to see on our safari was the African wild dog. On our first morning, only about five minutes from the lodge, our guide led us right to them. Oh, we have lions here? What do we do? After seeing three of the big five in less than 24 hours, it's time to make the three-hour transfer south into the heart of South Luangwa National Park to the Bilimungwe Bush Camp, where we'll spend the next three nights. Driving through the water river that has no water in it. Really up there, this river gets a uh, flash flood. Yeah. Evening game drive number one from Billy Mungway. Well, I do have to say, it was kind of funny with that light show from all the spotlights chasing those lions around last night. <laughs> A lot more civilized than we were up at than when we were up at Bowie without all the you know, there's no other trucks running around. Yeah. It's a lot a lot nicer. <laughs> That's why I like being here. Yeah. One of the daily highlights of the evening game drives is the sundowner cocktails. Sip on refreshing drinks as you take in amazing sunsets with great company. Much more bye -bye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Fruit 
Cheers. Yeah. Yeah, so they start exploring their own country. Exactly. After sundowners, we transition into the night drive to close out our first full day on safari. considered as being cats oh, okay. and ah. therefore yeah and therefore they used to be called Janet cat It's the same, the, the porcupine, yeah. Our first day and a half on safari was more than we ever could have asked for, but there's still so much more to come. Next time, go on your first walking safari dive into South Luangwa's incredibly diverse bird and plant life, and see lions feast on a recent kill as we settle into our stay at Billy Mungwe.